All right, y'all, I'm back again with ridiculous messages I get. It's a financial dominatrix, and this is a two for one because they're both fairly short. First up, we have a guy that messaged me and said, I found you through YouTube. Why don't you post it here? Has your voice is exceptionally wonder. I'm guessing English is not his first language, but what he meant presumably is why don't I post video content on my Twitter or audio content because my voice is wonderful. To which I obviously said, well, my YouTube is for educational content for women who want to learn how to do Findom. This is where I advertise being a dom myself, and I'm not interested in broke or cheap subs hearing my voice for free. To which he just said, okay. So I blocked him. And then we have this guy who came off super creepy and said, watching you, dot, dot, dot. I've been a sub for over two years. Is it just for women or can men also do Findom? Because this is a really horrible kink. Which first off, if you've been a sub for two years and you feel it's horrible, why are you in it? And two, why are you asking if men can be dominant? Do you want to like switch roles and then now be the perpetrator of the kink you feel is horrible? But whatever. I replied and said, yeah, there's many male Findoms. There's also many female subs, not just male subs. But if you think it's a horrible kink, I'm not sure how you found my page, but you're clearly lost and welcome to see yourself out. To which he said, hmm, informative, but a horrible, horrible personality you have. <laughs> to which of course I obviously instantly blocked him as well. Um, I went to his account, his account had just been made. He wasn't following anybody, nobody was following him. And he had created his account as a page that would retweet corn and hot girls, essentially. Um, and then when I looked at his page like an hour later, it was entirely deleted and gone. So he found me somehow, made an account, messaged me, didn't like my response. I blocked him. And then within a couple hours of that, he just deleted his account entirely. Why? And why do I waste my time replying to these messages, you may ask? because it typically makes good content and it's good examples to show y'all why you don't bother replying to people that don't pay your tribute first because it's never anything fruitful or beneficial for you. It's just ridiculous nonsense like this that's entertaining at best.